Oh, what's up, guys? I'm back with the fourth video. Uh, I was choosing today on what to talk about, and I actually came to the conclusion that I'm going to talk about my top three tricks of how to not commit to any of your own vices. And the first thing I do is I set a strict schedule. When it comes to like, oh, when it comes to eating food, when it comes to using my phone, um, when it comes to playing video games. When it comes to anything that you love doing the most, that you put your most time into, um, that you know it's not benefiting you mentally, physically, emotionally, anything like that, it's always important to set a strict limit to it, two, three hours, whatever you want, and and depending on the, on the on the subject, and to always just be honest with yourself. And it's tough. It's a process. It's not meant to just have something. It's not just meant for something to happen overnight. Because um, it's just like how our brains work, how our brains operate. Um, and I'm something I'm still working on. The biggest thing is definitely the phone addiction. Um, it's just really part of, just part of like who we are, especially just in our society we live in today. And I always set up a time between like 8, 8.30 uh, to put my phone away. Uh, and the weird thing is I use my phone to set my alarm. So it can kind of sometimes get me to go back to my phone and scroll through YouTube and all kinds of things. And then comment down the, in the section below what you guys, what social media app you guys use the most. I use YouTube the most. Um, I always get surprised by the people who are addicted to like Instagram and TikTok. I've never used Snapchat uh, for, for people who don't know. Never used it before. Never even downloaded the app. Um, YouTube is the only thing that I've ever been addicted to as far as social media. And I'm pretty sure we can all agree because YouTube is like our new TV. You don't got to worry about commercials because I'd rather deal with 15 to 30 second ads than three to five minute commercials, if you guys agree. Um, but anyway, uh, my second trick that I normally do, and this is a weird one, but I actually put a lot of thought into it, is to imagine that you have a kid. Imagine that you have a child, right? There's one, two, three, however you imagine. Um... I learned that over time, anything that I'm committing to that I know is not going to help me physically, mentally, anything like that. Um, I learned that eventually I, I got to put myself in a situation where there's a, another younger version of myself seeing what I'm doing. Because we all we've all heard before when you have a when you hear other people have a kid, they're doing they're going to make sure they do everything in the power to make sure um, their kid doesn't end up in the type of life they lived in and of course um i don't know what that feels like i don't have a, a kid but i don't know the statistics behind it but the majority of us are going to have kids eventually um so always put that into perspective that you don't ever want a younger version of yourself your own child daughter son to do what you want you would want to do and that's something i always think about from time to time um, and it's always a weird thought when i when i think of it but I know in the future it's it's gonna become you know reality. You know, it just is what it is. Um and from there my third trick I always use is to always put myself put myself in other people's shoes. And to kinda of give you guys a story on this, which made me think about this a lot, and actually what made it my third trick, is that um at my job, and I'm not gonna say where I work just because I still work there currently, there's this woman who would always go outside and I see it's everywhere but the fact that I work there and I see it every day it, it kind of affected me a little differently that and she walks outside and she always sits on these um on these things I'm not gonna say what it is Just give you a hint of where I work at um where she would smoke cigarettes and she'd do it every single day at least the times I work there it seems like she works there every day I don't even know this woman gets day, days off and she looks like she, and every time I see her she looks she looks like she's in so much pain that she really thinks smoking is like the cure for it and every day she she every time she works she uses that same break to go out and smoke that cigarette for 15 minutes and then goes back inside and seeing that you know at being 18 it's like it's like a oneness if you guys know what that is seeing yourself as some as somebody else because we're all human beings you know we were just all brought into our own little worlds you know 
at different points in time. So, you know, to see that over and over, it really motivated me to to keep on working and to never give up and accomplish your dreams and everything that you can possibly imagine before death because, you know, life is not only a joke, but you only got one life. And I, you know, I've, I've said this, I've said this many times before, um, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one to think about. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that that's the third trick I always think about. Probably one of the most important out of the three. Uh, just because it's very emotional. When you see someone going through something that they're kind of just stuck in this, this rut. And you guys know what that feeling is. We all go through it. Um, but they see somebody as a grown, grown adult in the, in the rut. And you're young. You kind of feel like you might become that. Like, and it kind of motivates you to not be, to make sure you don't ever get in that situation. And I just want to let you guys know that, um, I know this video isn't too, um, strategic. I kind of just went into it. Um, I was thinking about it all day in my room, what I want to talk about. Um, as long as I continue working and be consistent by videos and just planning something, then I'll be good. Um, but yeah, man, um. Uh, my next video, I'm not really sure what I'll be talking about. Uh, probably like a little bit of enlightenment, meditation. I'm very into that. Just to get you guys to know more about me as much as possible. Just to get myself out there and be consistent. So eventually like, I can meet other people, hear their stories. And one day meet them in person, if that's ever an option. Uh, but that's the, that's the dream of mine. Uh, that's a long-term goal. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long today. Um, it's about to get dark outside. Uh, leave your share and free, feel free to leave your comments down below. I'll answer any of them. If you're ever interested in more about me, if you want to email me, call me. I'll leave my number and my email down below in the description. And yeah, I love you guys, man. I really do. For the people who watch the whole thing or just click on it and click off right away. I really don't care. Um... Yeah, man, I love you guys, and hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.